welcome to Grade 10, Maths Literacy. Today we're talking financial documents. My name is Sushen Naidu. Let's get started. Did you know people are being encouraged to use digital means to receive financial documents in a bid to minimize paper usage and save the environment? I think that's a good thing. It's a good initiative. So today, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to answer questions on till slips, answer questions on phone accounts, answer questions on account statements, answer questions on bank statements, and answer questions on municipal statements. All right, concept map for today. We're going to start with till slips, make our way to phone accounts, account statements, banking statements, then we'll end off with municipal statements. Okay, before we begin, percentages are values written out of 100. We use the percentage symbol. That, value added tax, that is a South African tax system where 15% tax is added onto certain items. And we get rate, the relationship between two related quantities with different units. All right. So pre-knowledge, practice, what is 1,4% off 23,650? Let's get this one done. So we'll start with the 1,4%. Okay. Uh, it looks like a strange looking one. That's better. Off becomes times the amount 23,650. And we get 3. 3, 1, comma, 1, 0. Nice work. The second question. If a jersey costs 450 rand, excluding VAT. Okay. Calculate the price, including VAT. So with VAT, two calculations. Either we times by 1, comma, 1, 5, or we divide by 1, comma, 1, 5. In this case, because we have the price excluding VAT, we are going to times by 1,15. And that should give us the price, including that. If I use my calculator, I get 5, 517 Rand and 50 cents. There we go, nice work. Let's go to question three. Question three reads, if a pair of shoes was bought for 850 Rand, so likely if it was bought, that is already in the price. Work out the price before that was added on. So in this case, the 850 Rand already has VAT inside of it. We've got to remove VAT, so we divide by 1,15. There we go, as the two VAT calculations. And I get 739 Rand, 13 cents. Great. Finally, question four. If SIPO earns 450 Rand per hour, Calculate how much he earns for five hours of work. So we start with the rate. The rate here is 450 Rand per hour, per hour, per one hour. Then, right, we'll use the semicolon to separate our left hand side from our right hand side. Left hand side for Rand, right hand side for time. In this case, we have five hours and we want to find that side. So, what do we do? We start with the 5. We multiply across from it that way. We times. So that's times 450. Oh, 450. That's right, the 4 first. 450. And then numbers above it, we divide. So I'll divide by 1. And here we get 2,200. And 50 Rand. Nice work. So the new words in language for today, we start with balance, the amount of money in an account, bank charges, the fees charged by the bank for their services. Again, nothing's done for free. Credit, let's just go back one there. Credit, an entry on a statement that shows money has been received. Debit, an entry on a statement that shows money has been paid. An EFT, when money moves, when money is moved, out of an account digitally. All right, that could be via banking app and stuff like that. Um, 
service provider, a business that provides a service, invoice, a list of goods or services provided with a total, tariff, the rate charged for services offered. So we could get a municipal tariff, we could get water tariff, stuff like that. Um, stop order, an instruction to the bank to pay a set amount of money. And withdrawal, to remove cash from an account, or to remove cash money from an account. Usually at an ATM or the bank, I know there's certain stores that do that as well now. Um, let's take a short break. When we get back, we'll get stuck into the work. See you soon.